In Second Peter, there's a warning, as in all the warning letters of the Nazarene, what they call the New Testament. <laughs> it's, it's all a series of warnings to repent and obey. The message has been muddied. But Peter, also called Kepha, Kepha wrote some interesting words about some gangster types that we're going to take over. Now, here's what he says in 2 Peter chapter 2, starting uh, at verse 1, so you can get the context. But there also came to be false prophets among the people, as also among you there shall be false teachers, who shall secretly bring in destructive heresies, sacraments, and other ways of achieving eternal life, sneaking in around, uh, trying to climb, it, climb the fence without going through the gate. Anyway, uh, and they'll deny the master. How do they do that? Deny his name. Revelation says that you have not denied my name. And that's uh, his name. Some of us have not denied his name. And they'll deny the master who bought them with his blood, bringing swift destruction on themselves. Now this is verse 2 of chapter 2 of Second Peter. And many shall follow their destructive ways, because of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. These are believers that are following false teachers. They're not heretics in the sense that they know they're heretics. They don't know. They're gangsters. They're controlled. And in greed, with fabricated words, they shall use you for gain. From of old, their judgment does not linger, and their destruction does not slumber. Something's going to happen in the last days. And the last days are all around us. There was a recent pastor, a, a, a recent post on Twitter. Uh, I'm not, I don't name people because I hope that they repent and come into the fold and obey. But they've been. T this this person was someone that taught me, and uh, he was interesting to me. Uh, I always pray for him. And he's getting older, and not not much time's left. But one of the posts that he's left was describing the circus goers are dropping off because ever since the bat flu uh, you know the pandemic occurred you know the the pew sitters stopped coming and a lot of them didn't they never came back because they found an alternative ways of meeting together online and learning truth and some of the sidebars and advertisements for the truth uh, sent some of them into different directions and he was saying in, uh, essentially in a few words that some of them never came back and he wants to encourage us to meet together so that we can you know not be controlled by the truth I guess because people are finding the truth online and if they go to this one place or another place with a steeple on it or a crux or some false teaching uh, it'll it'll come they'll come back under the control of their former pastors and the pastors are, are freaking out because the people are learning more by studying on the internet and that's uh, interesting because you know it's happening everywhere it's not just that congregation a gangster the name of this video is pastors and gangsters. The, the words themselves can be loosely fitting, but the idea of a gangster defined is a member of a gang, usually of criminals. But it doesn't have to be. I mean, a gang is, can be a band or any number of different things, or a group, a gang people who have something in common. But it's especially 
today used for racketeers or rackets, which usually involves organized syndicated crime people, you know. All right, so that's the association I'm making here. I'm not condemning anybody. I'm just saying, hey, pastor, gangster, you know, the attendees that listen to one person's opinion, uh, they don't follow scripture. They don't live by scripture. They live by men's rules that were set down over many centuries. Now, what's the definition of a racket? A racket is a fraudulent scheme formed to pr promote a common interest or carry out a business enterprise made workable by bribery or intimidation. Well, you're intimidated when you hear a pastor teaching you that says, if you don't get the truth in you or don't read this book and live by it, well, they don't live by it. They live by men's traditions. You start living by anything in, in the scriptures and they'll disfellowship you. They don't want you around because you're teaching truth. Because the, the scriptures of truth are true. And they'll never change. You're to live by every word that proceeds from the mouth of Yahuwah. Not your pastor. Anyway, that uh, definition for a racket kind of fits. It's a racket. A syndicate. What is a syndicate? Well, a syndicate is any association of people or firms formed to pr promote a common interest or carry out a business enterprise made workable by bribery or intimidation or just because you like it. Well, that kind of fits a lot of organization. So organized religion in general fits all these things. Now, what's the definition of a pastor? It's a clergyman. That, that's a big word. You have to find out what that means. It means someone who can read and write, basically. But it's usually associated with people who teach religion. We're not about religion. We're about truth and, this, and following a relationship, which is only obtainable by obeying the one that you serve. A clergyman or a priest. That would be a fake priest, of course. Because the priesthood, the old priesthood, is gone. You can't offer animal blood anymore. That's the old covenant. Animal blood and priests. Now, a clergyman or a priest in charge of a congregation. In charge. Uh-oh. That means you better listen and follow. So, the lies and false hope promoted by the pastor gangsters are too numerous to list here. But here's a couple. Our deliverer's name isn't J-E-S-U-S. -S. It's Yahusha. He's looking for the fruit of obedience, not lawlessness. Pastors, in the sense of being gangsters, teach against the Ten Commandments all around the world. Another feature of these gangsters is there's only one name Acts 4.12 declares that. But the pastor gangsters teach that there are many names. Our dead relatives and friends are not in heaven. This is another lie. They're in their grave, sleeping until the day of their resurrection, as written in the writings of truth. Now, this is the writings of truth in English form. It's called the BYNV, the Nazarim version. We get it because these are warning letters that were written by the first Nazarim. The last Nazarim are here. The pastors teach that we no longer have to guard the Ten Commandments, but only believe. Believe what? What are we supposed to do? We're supposed to do the word that's written. There's still time to share Revelation 22:14. Blessed are those doing his commands that they might have the right to the tree of life and to enter into the gates of the city. Outside are the dogs. 
Even the demons believe Yahusha is Yahuwah, and they shudder. They believe he's one. It takes obedience to receive the spirit of Yahusha. Acts 5.32 Malachi 4, 1-6 has a message for all the inhabitants of the earth, but only one out of a thousand understand what it actually says. Malachi 4, 1 through 6. And then there was a dead silence for 400 years. And then Yahushua came personally to purchase us with his blood. Baruch Habab Hashem Yahuwah joined NatsarimLife.com. And we'll see you in the next exciting video. Bye.